Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am Zig and I do beauty lifestyle videos here. So, you know, subscribe, notification bell, all of those things. Um, this isn't the video that I wanted to do. I actually wanted to do a hair video, but you know when you just feel so, quite frankly, this whole quarantine, and obviously I am not the only one in this quarantine, so I'm sure a lot of you have felt the same. I, I, I wanted to do this video because I kind of just wanted to be more open with you guys. I'm trying to learn to just be a bit more of an open person and a more willing person and a more accepting person as well. Rather than trying to, to hide my current feelings, I think it might serve better to just talk about them. Um, <laughs> um, so just to let you know everything of why I'm just feeling so poop. I've been here for seven or eight weeks. Um, my uncle died two weeks ago um, and whilst he was sick for a long time he had Parkinson's. I think what made me more sad was not <laughs> And something that's made me quite sad for like other people as well as anyone that's lost anyone from anything, anything during this time is that it's this idea that like to keep each other safe, we can't be together, right? But it's also stopping us from being safe, if that makes sense. Like, I just feel crap. I feel crap for like, for my mum and like my aunt and my cousins and stuff like that. I'm gonna dry my eyes with my trousers because that's what's next to me. Oh God. And it's like, I'm still working. I'm still doing everything and blah -de blah And this whole video, I'm gonna try and just express myself. But I want you guys to know that when I'm doing, when I'm talking about this whole thing, um, Trust me, I have felt very selfish and very guilty to even feel the feelings that I feel, but I know that like, at the end of the day, feelings are completely normal, natural and uncontrollable. And I can only speak within my realm because I've, I've only got this, right? So yeah, so that's just tipped me over the edge of like this whole quarantine situation and just feeling rather crap about it. Alex and I are getting married in July, end of July. Yeah, we've, we've been planning this for 18 months. We're getting married end of July. When this all started to kind of really kick off over here in the UK in terms of starting to lock down and blah -de blah they started to kind of stop weddings. Um, they started by limiting weddings. Essentially, you could only have a wedding with six people, which basically meant the the people getting married, the two people getting married, your two witnesses, and then the two registrars. Six people, that was it. Um, and then after that they were like, what? <laughs> we're not conducting any weddings whatsoever. Now in May, and they have started to relax the current quarantine and lockdown, there's been soft talk about weddings and what weddings would be allowed, um, and when they would be allowed, um, and they've mentioned small, but they haven't said what the freaking numbers will actually be. I've not given up, like not once, not once, because any time, I, I just feel like any time you give up, that's it, that's the end of it. Like, just pack your bags, it's done. But for me, I've always kind of just stayed positive. And so many of our, friends have been really kind and it used to really bug me because I'd get the same question like what's happening with the wedding or you know I'm thinking of you and I'm like thinking about who my wedding's still happening you know like I just I just have never I've never given up never I still have that belief I still have that belief but because we're getting closer now we're in touch with our venue more um about finalizing things and we have to have real conversations about it. And I already know that my wedding will not be 
the original wedding that I had pictured for myself 18 months ago. I already know that. As I've said with this situation, it makes you realize so much that a lot of the things that I thought I needed or wanted for our wedding, they really don't matter. They really don't matter at all. This shirt, this shirt is a bridey shirt and it was created, there's a small company called Six Stories Bridal, I think it is. And they basically gave away 5,000 shirts for free to so many brides that are in this situation. And you know, small businesses out here are suffering. So I thought that was so sweet. All of our suppliers are carrying on as normal, perhaps again, because they're self-employed, they rely on or are relying on our income. Um, same with our venue really. And our venue has been incredible, basically. The reason I've been feeling so frustrated is because I feel like every time I get to a milestone in my life or something quite big or whatever, it feels like someone pushes me down. It feels like I've never, it feels like I've never um, had a truly like happy moment in my life when um, Alex and I first got engaged, we were actually going for a completely different venue and that venue actually ended up cancelling on us. Um, I'll get into that story another time, but they cancelled it on us. So we had to find another venue and Alex was away on holiday. Um, so myself and my mum-in-law by chance actually found this venue. I found this venue because I wasn't even looking in this particular area, but we went, um, managed to get a booking in there for like the same week and they were incredible. Every, every query, every question, they had a solution or a really positive response to. They never upsold us either because originally with that first venue, we were gonna get married on a completely different date. And when we, proposed that same date to this new venue. Um, they were like, you can, but like, just to let you know, that's the Royal, Royal Air Show and there's gonna be sounds of planes going over. All of the hotels are gonna be super expensive during that time. Any kind of money hungry venue would have just been like, yeah, sure. And like racked up their prices. But they were so honest with like everything to make sure our day was special. So yeah, I just, I, I was starting to feel really positive about this and then, and then this happened and I kind of feel like, uh, at what point in my life will I get something that's just nice, you know? And this is part of what I mean about who I am as a person because uh, I find it so difficult to like, I find it difficult to accept nice comments. I find it difficult to accept, um, kindness from people um which is probably why i like i um focus so much on like negative comments or negative things that's why originally when i when like alex proposed to me i was like i'm eloping because i it's the same like with family events family occasions all of that it's filled often with like so much niceness <laughs> so much like love because they're your family but I've never like since I was a child like I found it so uncomfortable and I wish I knew why but anyway I've just always found it really difficult to be around those things so I always said like I'm gonna elope I don't want to have a wedding blah de blah basically I know this is all seeming like first world problems because it's like, then why don't you just postpone your wedding and have it a year later? It's a few different reasons. So I'm gonna talk about the kind of really pathetic reasons to begin with, and then I'll get into the more serious reasons of why uh, postponing is not something I really want to do. Um, so yeah, our wedding, our wedding has not been canceled or postponed as of this moment. Um, but it is getting increasingly harder um, to kind of figure out what it is exactly we are going to do. 
because like I've been talking to the wedding venue this morning. I keep looking at my phone because I'm actually kind of waiting for them to email me back. Um, so the pathetic reasons are when I first, when we first got engaged, um, I had a, such a particular idea of what I would what my wedding would look like, how my dress would look, the dresses that I tried on at the beginning were completely, completely different to what I have eventually settled on. Um, just so, just my mind is, we all change, right? So my mind was just in a completely different space a year ago. And I'm like, if it gets postponed, would I still like the wedding that I've planned? Will I want to change everything again? Will I hate my dress? Like, that that's, that's how I feel. I feel like if I wait another year, it's going to be too long because everything's already been planned and done. So it's not like somebody who's already had a super long engagement. Do you get what I'm saying? Number two is I don't personally want a winter wedding for no other reason than I get really severe eczema flare-ups in the winter severe eczema flare-ups. I actually have one happening right now on my mouth, that's why it's kind of grey and quite tight looking, might be a little bit discoloured. Um, but yeah, my skin gets really really bad during winter and so purely for the fact that I would be uncomfortable all day, I didn't ever consider having a winter wedding. So that's also why we would have to postpone it a full year so that it's like in the spring or summer months again. I work in a school and they know that I'm online anyway, so this isn't anything, you know. Um, but I can't, I can't get married during term time. So that makes it, that narrows the, the time down as well. But another really big reason, and I'm sorry because I've cried throughout this video already, but, uh, when Alex proposed to me, December 2018, his his brother was really sick. Really, really sick. And then, um, then his dad got really sick. And then my brother got really sick. All of them in hospital from the months of December to February. What's already been proven during this time is that like tomorrow is not promised today so i really find it difficult the idea that like to um postpone it a full year at the risk of people not being there i want my brother to walk me down the aisle you know so i had already opened myself up partly because of that 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 awful month for our families um to having a wedding to having this celebration to having everyone together and trying to be a better person to be more open to love and celebration of love and stuff like that so the idea of pushing it back a further year and like our nan and granddads like my dad is gonna be 70 people <laughs> my dad's an older dad um i just feel like i would be worrying the entire year up until our, our next wedding that doesn't sound fun and i know that it's a global pandemic this is not a zara pandemic it's a global pandemic so i'm not the only person that's feeling these emotions going through this stuff or have has other things happening yeah that's that's those are the kind of crap things that have been happening in my lockdown experience and i know so many pe other people out there are having their own crap experiences and I should point out that even if our wedding happens, I would never force anyone to come to our wedding. That's not what I'm trying to do. If someone said to me like, Zara, you know, I totally feel like unsafe still. I, I don't want to come. Of course not. Like, of course not. And as I said, I don't know if the registrars would even legally marry us at this point. <laughs> Whether or not they allow us to have weddings, the registrars themselves might say actually, we don't feel safe because they did release one statement saying for our own safety we aren't conducting weddings so if they said that fine if they said you can only have six people that would be fine like 
if all it takes is for me to sign the registry to change my name to say that I'm married on the date that I want to do it and then I can go and celebrate in a separate place with my close family and friends that's what I will do that's just that's all I want that's all that's all I want do you want me to turn up in jeans I'll turn up in jeans I don't usually do this because as I've said this whole thing is just like a first world issue but if you are somebody that prays or is religious because I know I do believe in a higher power and I believe in other things as well um, but if you are someone that manifests and you know believes I feel like there is so much power in the collective if you could spare a small prayer a small thought um, towards my family towards Alex's family towards this virus going back to the pits of hell from whence it came towards us still having our wedding however that will look then please do I felt this light from our wedding and it just feels like it's slowly being taken away from me and that's what's like really getting me down um, amongst everything I'm so sorry I'm so sorry but no at least at least we're getting to know each other right okay um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye